Last time on the Nerd Room. Oh wait, is that Benny? What's he doing here? Oh ho, still alive and kicking? Sorry about having to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that Taskmaster Komodo's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. All right, well, here we go. Bring it on, Benny. Ooh, okay, did a bit more damage than I thought, but it wasn't enough. Yeah! <laughs> it's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. But listen well, Allie. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Komodo and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. That's why Komodo came here to Hisui to try and build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If... Hypothetical as it may be, a Pokémon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Komodo might lose hold of his reason. Save Komodo from himself. By force, if you must. How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some more Pokémon Legends Arceus. So I did actually get a chance to train up my Pokémon a little bit between this episode and the last episode. It's honestly pretty easy to level up your Pokémon really quickly when you have an Alpha Ground type, and there's a Wild Alpha Electric type waiting pretty much right outside the engines of the cave I'm in. But we should now be ready to face whatever's waiting for us on the other side of that opening. So without further ado, Let's go save the Hisui region. Oh my goodness, we are really freaking close to the rift. It's one thing seeing it from a distance, but now being directly under it, that is intimidating. Hey guys. So, uh, yeah, things really seem to be going to shit, huh? You'd better take that red chain up to the top of the mountain. That Pokemon threatening to descend on the peak any moment now. I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh, but all this has to be stopped, and you're the only one who can do it. Almighty Sinnoh seems to be nearly here, but still, the commander obstructs us. Is the commander wearing samurai armor? Yep, he is. <laughs> you again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? I mean, you can trust me, right? I'm literally holding the dang chain. Commander, please, be reasonable. I understand that you're bound to protect your people as commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I have the same duty toward my clan. But doubting Ali like this, you're not just wrong, you're a fool. Perhaps you are right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this girl, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? You may think you're the only one desperate to protect the people of Jubilife, but you're not. Ali is putting her life on the line as well. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokémon, Ali. Today, we battle in earnest. Alright, let's see what kind of Pokémon he's rocking. Braviary, okay. Ooh, does Garchomp know any moves that would be super effective against Braviary? I don't... I think so, no. In fact, uh, in fact, two of Garchomp's moves would have no effect on Braviary. Alright, well, I think we'll hit Braviary maybe with Outrage, see how much damage it does, and then in turn, see how much damage Braviary can do to Garchomp, so... Let's see what happens. Ooh, okay, okay, so one more Outrage and we're golden. Oh, and, and Komodo called Braviary back, so that doesn't really help. Okay, well, let's just hit Clefable with Earth Power and hope for the best. Oh, dang it. Okay, it didn't do half, but it did lower uh, Clefable's defense, so that might actually mean that uh, I could take a... Uh, yeah, that I could take down Clefable with one more... Uh, one more Earth Power. Never mind. It just... It just stole some HP, so I'm gonna have to switch out Garchomp. <laughs> okay, I do have Gliscor with Poison Jab. Yeah, let's do it. Save Garchomp for, uh, for another situation. Oh dear, okay, the Psychic still did a lot. Oh, do I use Strong Style, or...? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna go with Strong Style. We wanna make sure Clefable goes down, because Gliscor cannot survive another Psychic. Come on, buddy! Yes! Alright, who's next? Snorlax. Do I know any Fighting-type moves? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, 
boy. <laughs> Dang it, I don't, I don't have anyone with fighting type moves. Oh boy, this is gonna be a real battle of attrition. Snorlax is so ridiculously tough. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's send out Garchomp. <gasps> Heck yeah, and if I use Agile style, I can make Garchomp go three times in a row. Okay, maybe this won't be as tough as I thought it would be. Depending on how much damage this does. Ooh, that wasn't a lot, but that was Agile style, so... Maybe regular will do slightly more? Oh, yep, yeah, there we go, okay. Okay, now here's the question. Do I go for another regular style? Or do I switch to strong style to try and make sure I take down Snorlax? Because if Snorlax survives, he gets two moves, and I have a feeling that uh, this Snorlax has something in it up its sleeve that'll help take down Garchomp, especially with two chances. And you know what? Fortune favors the bold. Here we go. Come on, Garchomp, you got this! Yeah! Perfect! Okay, I was a little worried about dealing with Snorlax before because if you don't know any fighting type moves, ow, Snorlax is ridiculously tough. Oi, oi, oi. So yeah, it can take a while to take down Snorlax without uh, super effective moves. So yeah, glad we got that out of the way. And Golem, I don't think will survive this one. Nope. All right, so that just leaves Braviary. I have a feeling Braviary's gonna go first, and it's probably gonna take down, yep! Yep, there, there, there they go. Garchomp got taken down. But now, we can send out Luxray and take out Braviary. So yeah, all in all, Benny was actually a harder battle than, uh, than Kamado. Oh boy. There we go. Victory is mine. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Oh, okay, uh, th there's no need to do that, Commander. Ali, the fates have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokémon living in Hisui. You got it, Commander. Now, would you stand up? There we go, he's getting up. Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. Okay, good. It looks like my Pokémon have been healed. Let me just make sure. Yep, they're all fully healed. So we're going into this, uh, what I assume to be the final boss fight with full health. But I think before doing that, I'm going to quickly ask Volo if he has any healing items I can buy. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's do this thing. What the frick? What is that Pokémon? What the heck is this? Oh, okay, jeez, okay, okay, I n never mind, I know what it is. <laughs> jeez, Louise. Okay, so at first, uh, so this is meant to be, uh, this is meant to be Electrode, and, like, the stuff underneath it is, like, a lightning bolt. At first, I thought that was a leg. <laughs> okay, jeez, that really threw me for a loop for a second there. <laughs> Come on, now's the time. Use the red chain. Wait, what, what is this? There's a voice in my head. No, in my... Heart? It's speaking to me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. Whoa, Rita, do you hear what you're saying? Catch you? Uh, Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh may be speaking to me. It's telling me, you hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, for the fight to come. Okay, so Palkia is going to make an appearance. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls, nice. All right, that'll definitely help. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> ah, yeah, there's Palkia. Oh, there we go. So, so I'm basically just doing what Cyrus did at the end of uh, Diamond and Pearl. Oh. Uh, was the red chain supposed to do that? Oh dear. Okay, so if I remember correctly, Palkia is dragon water type, right? Uh-oh. 
Oh, nice job. <laughs> okay, so so Garchomp literally just avoided uh, a tear in space. <laughs> Jeez, it is a good thing I caught you, Garchomp. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. Nice job, Garchomp. Oh, dear. They ain't dodging that one. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, well... You did a good job, Garchomp. You got, uh, you got Palkia down to the, basically the perfect amount of health for me to attempt to capture them. Okay, I think my next toughest Pokemon would most likely be Gyarados, so we'll send, we'll send them out, and hopefully they can take a few hits. Because I have a funny feeling the first, uh, the first Pokeball I throw isn't going to be the one to, to catch Palkia. Alright. Come on. Oh, yep, yep, stay in there. Okay, never mind. It worked perfectly. <laughs> First freaking try. Jeez, that never happens. Usually when you're trying to catch a legendary, it takes like freaking 30 Ultra Balls. <laughs> she caught it, right? She caught Almighty Sinnoh? The red chain's been shattered, but we've still got the Pokemon of the Lakes to thank for getting this far. Oh, well done, Allie, my girl. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. It's all because she had me to show her the ropes when she first got here. Ah, I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, it's... it's called Palkia. Mighty Palkia is speaking to me in my mind. Space-time grows chaotic. The power fails. The frenzied one. It comes now to fight. That is why I am here. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Ali could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one now. All right, here comes another one. So is this Dialga? Yep. Hey. Oh boy. Uh. Okay, com Commander, what are you planning on doing? I don't like that look in your eye. Oh, we're just- okay, we're retreating. Got it. Oh, but what the frick? How am I supposed to read that? Gug ya ga boo What the fuck? ya goo bug bug Okay. Okay, yeah, this is all, like, this is all, like, very epic and everything, you know, like, uh, Dialga emerging from, like, that portal, sending energy all throughout this temple, and that, that is how they choose to transcribe its cry. Not gonna lie, that kinda ruined the moment. <laughs> like, look, even Adamant's like, really? The thing I've been praising all my life. And that is what it sounds like. All of you, we must vacate this. Gah, forget the fancy talk. Book it, come on. We gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce, you won't be any use to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. So, uh, what's the plan now? Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Allie. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of this same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokémon into their frenzied states. So our two clans truly were following different Almighty Sinnoh, but both were real? What a shocking turn of events! To say nothing of the shock of hearing the commander speak so differently. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart to the both of you. As fellow leaders, you saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Ali. And to you, Ali, I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. 
Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having Ali about has been a good influence on all. That's only natural. Ali is strong enough to defeat even this new opponent single-handedly. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you forget that the red chain broke? We'll be alright. Armed with the knowledge mighty Palkia imparted to me. Palkia? The Pokémon that talked to you? Yes, it told me its name, but that's not all. It also told me this. The Stone of Creation's Beginning. The Chain of Red. The Vessel of Humankind's Invention. Unite these three, and calm the chaos now disturbing the flow of time. And then Mighty Palkia must go with us back to the temple, it said. Well, that chain of red is in pieces now, but if little bits will do, I gathered those. And the Vessel of Humankind's Invention? I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. That's gotta be it. But what about that Stone of Creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine resource to consult. Oh, that was Kamado. Okay. <laughs> and what are your thoughts, Professor Laventon? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Oh, okay, I guess he's got an idea. Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Ali, my girl, could you lend me those plates you received from Wyodir and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Aha, just as I remembered. Here on the back of the earth plate, it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow's come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I propose we call it Origin Ore. Irida, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course. I'll call Leon to the summit camp at once. Oh dear Melly, what does he want now? I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adamin, I see all these other louts have their little task to be getting on with. But what of the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adamin, and make it a good one. How about you stay out of the frickin' way? That would be a very good job. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the others' wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adamin. Oh, 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 you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and work they are not. Yeah, and you are not suited to be a warden. And, oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. Jeez, this guy can take a long walk off a short pier. I've brought Leon. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Hisui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleavor in battle, with that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adamin? A Adamin? Why? How and why did you hire Melly to be a warden? He is unequivocally one of the most annoying Pokemon characters, nay, characters in general, that I have met. He's just a self-absorbed whiner. Fire him already. 
Everyone back home is all worked up because the Pearl Clan got to speak to Almighty Sinnoh or Palkia or whatever. Do you want them to hog all the glory? Well, if you want to talk to Dialga, they're waiting for you right at the top of the temple. Be sure to say hi to him from me as he's stomping you into paste. Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the primeval grotto. So let's see, is this grotto here? Yes, it's right there. All right. Oh, is this it right here? Is it literally that easy to find this ore? What a curious cave. I feel some extrasensory power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my slagoo's moves. I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Oh boy, okay, I was actually wondering, I haven't seen these guys in a while. I figured they just kind of quietly disappeared from the story. <laughs> oh come on, who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out on the clan. Where have you been all this time? Humph, I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. Ugh, that earnest goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough! I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Allie. You take charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Especially in this, the battle of a lifetime. I mean, I just caught the embodiment of all space, like, five minutes ago, so you're nothing. Bring it on, charm. Alright, first deal with the ride on. Just like that. And then she's gonna send out Gengar, and then I believe I can switch to... Possibly Sylveon. Oh dear. Cool. Okay, that did a little more damage than I expected. Oh, and Gengar is also weak to ground type. So Garchomp's pretty much the perfect Pokemon to use against Charm. Dang it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Cool. Well, there goes that. <laughs> Dagnabbit. Ah, here we go. We'll send out Gliscor and hit Gengar with a mud bomb. Perfect. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. And we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you better do something about that sky. You are as strong as ever, Allie. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. And there they go. Thank goodness. Now, Leon, where were we? Honestly, those three. What did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokémon. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need, even if she groused as she did so. I suspect they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are hiding behind all that attitude. There we go. Did it work, Leon? Perfect. I was able to extract some of that origin ore. Or whatever it is you wish to call it. I suppose it had better go with you, Allie. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply fail to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleavor recognizes you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Laventon's got sound judgment, plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. Hey, Professor, we got the rock we were looking for. So this is the Stone of Creation's beginning, the Origin Ore. Mm-hmm. Yes, one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilife Village. All right, Mr. Professor, it's all in pieces now, but this is what's left of the red chain. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for purpose. 
We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. The fragments of the red chain, collected at great personal risk by the Diamond Clan. Then the Stone of Creation's beginning, which we only learned of thanks to the Pearl Clan. And now, it is time for the Galaxy Team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Ray, my boy, you are one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? Heh, <laughs> just wait, Allie. You'll finally see what I'm truly capable of. This may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you had best wait outside while we work. Uh, what's wrong, Adaman? Got a headache? Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurried up in there. I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time as a cover for your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever, because that'd be using time well. Unlike this. He does actually raise a good point. We've done it, Al- Okay. Okay, I saw we've done it, Ali. I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokémon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Okay, so now question. Is this guaranteed to catch Dialga, or do I still have to weaken Dialga in order to use it? Because we only got one of these things, and I don't want to risk breaking it. Oh yeah, it even says in its description, a singular and irreplaceable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all Hisui could rest in something so tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Wait, please, I hear something. That voice is speaking in my mind again. You mean Palkia? Yes, it appears that mighty Palkia is willing to lend its own strength to us in this battle. Now that's what I like to hear. The Pearl Clan's almighty Sinnoh, well, I guess I should just call it Palkia, is one fierce Pokemon. Everything's ready now, Ali. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Palkia. Alright, so yeah, now we have the means to catch the frenzied Dialga, but I think we will deal with that in the next part. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share this video with your friends. And until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya!